Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the variables featured in PhotoP. Now, imagine the following scenario. We want to make a card for each country in the world. The document that you see here will be used to generate this card. It contains five layers. A text layer named country name, a text layer with the description, a black placeholder, a layer that has an icon of South America. This is a small picture that we want to be shown only if the country is located in South America. And finally, a light blue background. With variables, we can modify these three features of a layer, visibility, text content, and pixel content. We can attach a variable to each of these features, then we simply need to give PhotoP a spreadsheet, a table, with data. To make this spreadsheet, we will use Google Sheets. We need four columns. Because we have four variables in this example, first the country name, then the description, black image. This is basically the image file with extension like .gtag dot png etc and lastly a column where we need to specify whether the country is in south america or not by writing true or false remember these column headers because you will need them later Once finished, go to File and Download and choose Comma Separate Values .csv. Back in for B, in the menu, click Image and Variables. In the first tab, pick the first layer from the drop-down list. Since the country name is a text entry, check Text Content. In the Variable Name field, write whatever label you choose for this variable. In the spreadsheet, for this example, the country name column header is labeled C name. Make sure you get this right because otherwise you're going to face some errors. Next, the description. It's another text entry, so we'll check text content again. Next, the flag. Since we want to place each country's flag in the black box, we'll check pixel content and choose the right column header name. For the fourth variable, we want this layer to be shown only if the country is in South America. So I will check visibility and pick the right column header. Now we need to import that spreadsheet. Click datasets and then click import CSV file. It should be located in your downloads folder. Since we have the flag variable for which we need to modify pixel content, click source images and select the image files from your computer. File name should be the same as in the spreadsheet, remember this. Lastly, in the export as tab, choose the picture file format, adjust the quality to your liking, and click export all, as zip file will be downloaded to your computer that will contain all the generated cards. Notice that uh, for Australia, China, and Denmark, the small South America icon is missing. And for Brazil and Ecuador, the cards do have them. So that means our little project worked as intended. That is it. I hope you got some value from this video. If you have questions about this, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.